white tractor through your ace neck last night. I threw me pitchfork at your dog to keep boiling. Now something's telling me that you move me. Hello, folks. My name is Mike Keeper. I would just like to say, by way of introduction, it was a real pleasure to film this 2022 annual steam threshing day organised by the friends of Bardwell Windmill. Hope you enjoy the video. here in about 1987, doesn't yes, it? Yes, they did, and they've been rebuilt by my father. Oh, was that Mr Wheeler, was it? It is, Oh, yeah. I read about him, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, Mr Jonathan Wheeler, that's my dad. It's nice to see it restored, as I say, though, because you know, you used to have two, just one sail on it at one time. Yes, yeah, well, We've got the first set done. Yeah. That's their hair done. They went up. From Lowestoft to Leyston, from Snape down to the coast, take a trip along to Thorpness, a folly there they boast. There's fun to find in Felixstowe. I'll see you at the spa And from Dunwich around to Alburn Isn't very far I've seen the Grecian islands From the warm Ionian sea I didn't like the crowds along the coast of Italy The charm of Spain I never found It wasn't meant for me So I'll sing my song in Suffolk the only place to be The lovely lark of Milden Hall Down by the riverside We can walk down to the market And take a drink nearby Inside the tiger or the bell And round the town we'll rove And in the sky we'll wander At the plains that fly above 
From Lowestoft to Leyston, from Snape down to the coast, take a trip along to Thorpe Ness, a folly there they boast. There's fun to find in Felixstowe, I'll see you at the spa, and from Dunwich round to Walborough, isn't very far. Built some 200 years ago, the windmill is in good working order for a long period of restoration, which was started by the owner in 1989. This restoration work has continued with enthusiastic help, including fundraising, which was all volunteered by local folk over the many years since the station was started. The saving of this charming, iconic landmark is now assured. The result is a credit and testimony to the hard work and dedication of all of the people involved in the restoration project. This annual event is a splendid opportunity to come and enjoy the fascinating journey of turning the harvested wheat into nutritious flour. Uniquely, Bargore Windmill grows its own wheat in the nearby fields. In this clip, You'll see the harvest being taken in back in July for this year's crop. Congsbury when I were a boy A court in a row She were my pride and joy Now Rosie was pretty And just seventeen When I showed her the works Of me threshing machine Threshing machine Threshing machine she told me that she were a much traveled girl, seen faces, been places all over the world, but there was one sight that her eyes never seen, a vertical piston drive threshing machine, threshing machine, threshing machine. Vertical piston drive threshing machine. We went to the barn and I took her inside and said, If you're good, I might give you a ride. It stood there all sparkling and shiny and clean. She said, That's what I call a threshing machine. Threshing machine, threshing machine. That's what I call a threshing she asked me to demonstrate how the thing worked So I let out the clutch, the machine went berserk You couldn't see naught for the smoke and the steam When I started revving me threshing machine Threshing machine, threshing machine When I started revving my threshing machine When I said Rose could drive it for better or worse the whole dang contraption went into reverse The camshaft seized up, well you know what I mean And that was the end of me threshing machine Threshing machine, threshing machine And that was the end of my threshing machine <laughs> I was just saying Still can't notice it. <laughs> no? When the wheels were passed, yeah. they missed the air on. Oh, the two back ones. Yeah. Notice it now, can't you? Yeah, you can. Yeah, so the cars, the cars for the back ones. The people 
came to rough and fair The sun shone bright all day To breathe again the suffer care To meet, to talk and play They came in twos, they came in fours They came from everywhere The cars arrived, they paid their fee To come to rough and fair Forty thousand folk arrived, each with time to share. The sun shone out a welcome sign to all at Ruffham Fair. This Suffolk village gave the news to husband and to wife, to children and to everyone, the news that trees mean life. sun shone bright all day to breathe again the suffer care to meet to talk and play the greening of tomorrow the planting of today a hope that earth can breathe again the air of yesterday and from this suffer village still the message is so clear don't rob our planet of her trees or we will disappear the people came to rough and fair the sun shone bright all day to breathe again the sun again to meet to talk and play and all the world can sing as one and north and south will know and east and west can join to see the green of the upon the farms and there we plowed and sowed and reaped and brought strength to our arms now the land it's been swallowed up there's pylons instead of corn there's factories and houses springing up a new one every morn I watched the seasons come and go Rain, sun and winter snow I brought young geese into the world Reared them and watched them go now factory farming, it's all the right. There's more bees in less room. It's push button feed them for them now. No need for stockmen nor groom. And we might say all worked on their land. To draw their weekly pie And Saturday night now we all would meet And drink it all away Now there's cocktail bars, there's shining chrome No mild, it's all keg beer And when we ask the reason why they say 
don't need you here. And I used to take my horses on to the smithy down the road. And I'd watch George Crisp in his apron black, a pair in them to be shod. But now the smithy, it's disappeared. There's no more spark or din. And Crispy, he lies in the old churchyard, a side of more like him. And few now sing my county tongue, or sing my county round. And them that know the country ways are seldom to be found. For the binder turns its flashing blade, the valley siding down. And many a lad now turns his face unto the nearest town. This is intricate here. That's fantastic. Well, what, you're looking at this one? Yeah. Well, there's a story of that one. Hang on, well, tell me the story because I wouldn't listen to <laughs> I can put it on here, you see. All right. When I uh, well, I'll just get it in focus because it's such a fantastic thing. Right. So what's the story behind this one? Well, what, what, it, what it is, I... Put that down a minute. You want to get hold of it? Yeah. Yeah, I found this piece, this piece of well, what I always do with everything, that's a piece of wood I found, and I found this base wood from right. si that's on Sizal Shore. So that's a piece of wood, don't know what it is. No. But I looked at it and I thought, what can I do with it? So what I done is I made it into a, in, in, into a dragon. Amazing. Right? Yeah. And then I looked at the, the other red eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I put them in. Yeah. Right? And the teeth. That's the only thing I'd done. The bit the rest of the wood is the shape it was. At this end, you've got a codfish, right? That's I see. Turn it round like that so I can see it. That's, that's all right. I've... That's got a green. I put the eyes in, that's all I've done. Put a mouth in, that's a bit of a... So that's a codfish. So, yeah. So you've got a dragon that uh, end, codfish... So that... we've got a fish one in. Yeah, dragon the dragon other. the next. And what I decided to do was make it into an animal theatre, right? <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Don't ask me why. 
These are all our, all creatures, right? They're gone to the theatre, right? This is that's, that's, um, that's Olivia Newton wrong. If you heard oh, it, I know, yeah, yeah, she was in Greece. I that's think. right, and that's yeah. and that's John Revolton. Oh, right. <laughs> So Fantastic. They're both singing. So just hold it still because I can. It's that, so small. Yeah, they're both singing to the crowd. So that's Oliver Newton John. Olivia, no, that's Olivia. Olivia Newton that's Olivia Newton wrong, you have to say. Oh, right. That's okay. a play on her name. Olivia Newton wrong, not Got John. It. And that's 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 um John Revolting instead of John Revolt. Right? So they're singing to the crowd. And the, yeah. and his 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 the man on the door. Take your coats and hats. So you come in. You go to the show. And they're, complete, and they're sitting on a dead complete theatre here. Yeah, and they're sitting on a dead fish and a, and a half a dragon. <laughs> so let's have a look. I'll get up close. Fantastic. So, so so I can't tell you why he done it, but I just did. I, I my well, I think it's incredible, and it's a credit to your my, skill. My but mind it really run is fantastic. It must have taken you hours and hours and hours. I could say there's about yeah, I probably a couple of days of work there, and a couple of 16, 15, 16 hours probably. I mean, just all those little uh, to make them all put more. Bits. Yeah. And they're all made out of hawthorn, all these and all these yes. are all made out of... And hawthorn is pretty hard, isn't it? That's very hard when it's dry. Yeah. When it sets, when it's four or five days, six days, it goes hard. The longer you keep it, that's nearly impossible to cut it with a pen. So it's almost like iron. That right? is. It's like oak. Well, oak uh, I mean, oak that's like hard 100 as, years, you, can, you can't take the, the screws out. Of well, this is it. This is harder than oak. In, in initially, and if you ask anybody if they cut a, a hawthorn shrub down with a chainsaw, that'll blunt the saw. Yeah, that's I one, believe it. That's why it's harder than steel, probably. Well, I don't think I won't say it's harder than steel, but that's a very well if it blunts the blade, I mean, but uh, they, high speed blade. But nobody, nobody use hawthorn for anything because it's very short limbed. Yeah, you can't get very and long limbs. And you can't get nothing out of it, so that's, no. I, that's ideal for all these twisty little shapes and sizes, you see. Yeah. You know, they've got horns, some have got ears, some have got beaks. Well, that's incredible. So, that's the story of that one. Thank you. I think that's... You're welcome. That's fine. You take we'll see so you're doing what you can do, aren't you? Well, you could, I do this as a hobby, exactly. of course. I don't do well, it for money. Well, the same here. But it's, uh, you get very interested in what you do, don't you? Well, I do. You this know. is my life. This is my life now. Yeah, I go all round and go to sort of reenactments and things. Yeah. And yeah, so. uh, I find it very happy sort of time, place. It's, well, you know, that's, that's it. So that's what you want to do when you sort of retire. I mean, you know, well, it's in the, your twilight of your life. This is it. This is a time for me not to worry about making money and go out and enjoy myself. If somebody like, buys something, they buy it. If they don't, then, you What know. I like about you, unlike me, I've lived in these parts since 1975, so very recent. You've got a proper Suffolk accent. Well, I'm Suffolk born. And that's what I like, because Suffolk is the place to be. In fact, <laughs> I'm going to put a song by Jancis Harvey, who does all the Suffolk, the song of Suffolk, with my film. Oh, this that's one. lovely. Because this is really, well, I'm I mean, with the old mill, 1823 or whatever. That's it, that's it. And all the other things, it really is an interesting place. Very much. And all this machinery will develop over the last hundred or couple, well, 200 years. That's a, you know, it. it's very ingenious, you know, like the threshing and all the, I mean, all the machinery. Well, yeah, probably. The mill I, itself. I don't know if you. What a green thing it is. It's all about it? green stuff now. But how about that? That's, that's, that's it. That's it. On wind. But whether you remember, I remember the old thrashing tackles. I remember, I remember going, going to the thrashing tackles on the farms and tr ch yeah. chasing rats as they come out of the stacks. Yeah, they reckon in one stack you can have as many as a hundred rats. Yes. What are you like? On the phone. Here we are. You you got it from somewhere, you I, wretch. I just, oh. I just picked it up off there, you <laughs> wretch. You see, you're getting on at me now. <laughs> I used to have Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and somebody said, little Staffies, they've got the record for catching rats and I said oh how many they catch they said in one hour yeah a hundred rats well I heard that in some of these stacks that when they're left in the field the rats go into them and you can guess but there's a hundred rats in a haystack yeah get more <laughs> I'll be honest with you I've seen them seriously we've been stacked in the farm <laughs> I give don't tell my wife that she doesn't like that. I used to live in Yorkshire, that's, well, that's, that's my hometown from birth, Yorks, oh, right. Yorks, Finney, yeah. Yes. And we've got Gibbons' farm when the thrashing season starts. 
and us boys used to go, every farm and start thrashing and we'd, we'd now give them some thrashing to die or somebody else was thrashing and you went round, all took a stick about two foot long <laughs> and, and, and we were allowed to stand seriously round anywhere within reason, nobody said get out of the way No. and you'd whack at you anything, went round. whack at anything what run out. They're horrible <laughs> things rats. My father used to work in a chair factory, he saw a pipe one day and he picked it up and as he picked it up, a rat came out the end oh, of it. Over his <laughs> but he used to be a policeman in London. Yeah, yeah. And he said, it's amazing, he said, at night, he said, you go around some of these West End places, and places where they built all these fancy luxury. He said, full of rats. He said, I'd be walking around and there'd be rats everywhere. Well, they say that. Round yeah. the bottom docks, you know. Yeah, well, they say they're still there. Don't and they know, said, I mean, yeah, he said, during the day, everybody's, there's all these rats. He said, God knows, they live there somewhere. <laughs> well, that's their life, I suppose. Creatures have got to live somewhere. It's what yeah. I'd call a really sort of small local country show. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, it's got... <laughs> I think that's what I've got to be up far. Your health is okay then? Your health is okay then?
didn't go get back home yet, though. Yeah, she's <laughs> bit.